I'm so angry with myself. But two weeks ago when I made that last video, I had terrible problems with my microphone. The lead kept coming out. So I just recorded like 20 minutes of footage holding the microphone in my hand like a news reporter. And uh, I just went and listened to it back. And uh, it's atrocious. I've blown out the audio. And um, where I'm moving it around, it's making fudding sounds as well. So I've just wasted so much time. But never mind. We learn from our mistakes. And I make so many mistakes in my videos. It's a wonder that any of you have subscribed. And those that have, I want to say a massive thank you, especially for those that watched my last video for the Pippa Mocker and left really positive comments and liked the video. I really did appreciate it, so thank you. This video is super short. I'm not reviewing any products. I just really wanted to show you the products that I've got this week. I bought quite a few and also I got sent a lot as well by the Operators Coffee Club. For those of you that have been subscribed for a long time to the channel, you might remember they sent me a whole goodie box last year. It had three nanopressos in there with NS adapters, which I gave away to you guys, along with loads of other stuff. They actually sent a goodie box for Backstar and it had pig's ears in it, which he loved. They have sent me some more stuff. They sent me the new version of the Now Presso, which boils the water in half the time. It's got loads of upgrades on it. It won a design award. It should be really good, so I'm looking forward to reviewing that. Because I'm not into Nespresso pods, really, um, I prefer grinding my coffee fresh. Um, I went online and I bought, I think they're called Seal Pods. Quite expensive. I only got two for about 35 quid, but the, the benefit is I can reuse it. I can use my grind my own beans and make my coffee fresh. So that might be a game changer for me. I'm gonna use it in the Nano Presso with the NS adapter and also hopefully in the Now Presso 2. So that'll be interesting. So they sent me that. They also sent me this, which is the Crush Grind. It's a company in Denmark. I never even heard of this product before. It's smaller than the Hario Slim. It grinds so fast. It's unbelievable how fast it grinds. And uh, it looks really good. Great value for money when you compare it to other ones on the market. I'm tempted to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Hario Slim, which I've used for years, and the Crush Grind. What I like about it, the lid just drops drops on the side, like, and it's held it with a strong magnet, and uh, really portable. But anyway, I can show you that later if you're interested. They also sent me a clean canteen. These are beasts. They, these keep the water hot for like 20 hours. They're ridiculous. This will be perfect to use alongside the Now Presso because the Now Presso boils the water for you, but you'll only get about three boils per battery charge. But if you've already got hot water, you can get like 200 coffees out of it off one battery charge if you're not boiling the water. And they sent me a Nalgene bottle, cleaning pellets for coffee grinders, which I didn't even know about, and uh, cleaning tabs for coffee machines. Hopefully I can use that on the um, Nanopresso. Also, I bought this, a titanium gooseneck pour over. I'm so obsessed with titanium in my hiking gear, guys, because when you compare the weight difference between the regular Hario kettle, which is stainless steel, and this, this is so much lighter. And uh, if you're not using a gooseneck, then trying to pour it out of a regular pot is messy. And V60s are all about getting a consistent pour because you don't want to disturb that bed. So I thought, get this. Uh, it wasn't that expensive either. I also got titanium wire. It's two millimeters. Because my plan is to basically try and make one of these out of titanium that collapses down pancakes flat so I can slip it in my uh, cook kit. I've actually got a 3D printer. I was playing around with some ideas yesterday. The idea is that I can have it flat and then who knows. Uh, I also bought a uh, titanium windshield from AliExpress as well. Uh, that hasn't arrived yet. Um, what else? I had to buy this, guys. The AeroPress Go. I've been using the AeroPress for years and years, and I love it. I've never done a video review of it because there's too many out there, and that they are professional baristas that do world championship 
extraction so I really couldn't compete with those videos but if you guys would like to see me demonstrate the AeroPress Go let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. To be honest, I'm really interested in doing a comparison between the Hario Slim Mill and this Crush Grind Mill from Denmark. Um, maybe I could go out into the woods with the AeroPress Go and kill two birds with one stone, maybe. Let me know in the comments below if that sounds interesting to you. Obviously, I'm going to be doing the review soon of the now Presso, but I'm going to... Um, use it for a week or two first so I can really sort of get used to the product. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back soon, fingers crossed. If you enjoyed this short video, leave me a like or a comment below and uh, I'll see you soon.